Welcome to Premium Press Themes. Today, we're going to set up the cashback system for our new coupon website. So let's get started. Now, before we look at the admin options, I want to go through the website with you as a user, as it's often easy to visually see how it works. If we look at the demo website we have here, so this is a cashback um, template we have for the Premium Press theme. If we scroll down, we have featured stores and we have some sample coupons. So if I just explain very quickly, the system will monitor all of the coupons that the user has clicked on when they're on your website. So as you can see here, we have this coupon from Macy's. It says 50% off at Macy's. And obviously we can see um, that there's a 50% cashback option on this coupon. Now, when the user clicks on view coupon and goes to the Macy's and makes a purchase, they will be given an order ID and a, a total, etc., from Macy's just to say, thank you for their order, etc. The user can then use this information to claim cash back on your website. If the user was to use the view coupon option and actually load the coupon, the system would take note of every time they use the actual coupon. So you can see here now the user would copy the coupon and obviously then go to this store and purchase. Now, once they've purchased, they can go back to your website at any time, click on their accounts, and use the new cashback system option on the right hand side. Now, the user can simply select the coupon that they've used. So you can see we have this coupon, the 50% off at Macy's. It'll tell me obviously which store it was and what the date was that I used this coupon. And I would simply enter the order ID that I got from Macy's and then the order total. I would then submit these details and it'll be sent to the admin for confirmation. The first thing that happens when the user clicked the submission option was that the user, uh, sorry, the admin got an email. So the admin will get a new email. So these are all the emails. As you can see with this new cashback request system email. So the admin gets a notification to say that the user has made a new cashback request. Under the cashback option, you can now see that the new request is visible. And as the admin, I can edit this cashback, uh, this cashback request and see the details that were provided. So as you can quickly see, this is the user's ID. This is the user that made the request. This is the coupon that they use. So we can see it's 50% off at Macy's, that's a coupon ID. And we can see further details about the current request, which is pending. It's telling me that if I change this request to approved, that the uh, system is gonna credit this user $1,700, which is the amount of money that's due because of their order. And this is the order details that the user has actually provided as part of the cashback request. Now the first thing the admin would do was obviously verify that this information is correct and obviously make any changes if it wasn't. Now let's say for example that the, everything was correct and the order was, uh, was correct. We can then go ahead and approve this. And by approving it, it's gonna credit this amount. So if I look at my current account, so okay, so this is my current user account. You can see my balance is zero. If I credit this account, so I click on approve, update, now it says there that the, the amount has been credited to the user. And if I give the page a refresh, you can now see that the user's balance has been credited with the cashback amount. So first, let's check the cash back. As you can see, it's now been approved. And secondly, the balance has been applied to the actual user's account. So this is the second part of the cashback system. Firstly, obviously, the ability for the user to make a cashback request. And obviously, the second part is allowing the user to withdraw funds from their actual account. The premium press cashback system is GDRP friendly as there are no cookies or tracking codes required. It's simple to set up and it's easy to use. So let me explain. Firstly, we're in the admin area of our WordPress website. We click on premium press. We click on coupon settings. And the first thing we need to do is enable cashback. Now, once we've enabled cashback, we also enable a need to enable the cash out system. So you'll see this option right underneath that asks you to do it right now. So let's click on do it now. We scroll down and we enable the cash out system. Now, once you've enabled both of these systems, you'll notice on the left hand side, we have two new menus. We have cash out and cash back. And each of these allows the users to make requests on your website and you as the admin to validate them. So here, any of the users that make cash out requests will be visible. And here, all of the users that make cashback requests will be visible. So let's take a quick look at the cash out system. Just like the cash um, back system, which is requesting funds, the cash out system is actually requesting funds to be withdrawn from my account. 
So in this case, my current balance is now $1,700. And I want to tell the website owner that I want to transfer um, X amount of money to my PayPal account. So I would simply enter the amount of money that I wanted to withdraw and enter a message that I felt was appropriate that I would send to the admin. So I could try this is a test message and we can go ahead and make the cash out request. Now the cash out request is not an automated process. This is simply to protect you as the website owner. If this was automated and it took thousands and thousands of dollars out of your account, I think you would be very, very upset. So as, say, as you can see, the request has been sent. We go back to the admin, we can click on cash back, oh sorry, cash out. And as you can see now, there is a cash out request for a thousand dollars. So as the website owner, I can now say that someone was trying to take a thousand dollars out of my account. Um, we can view his account details and we can see all of the information that the user has provided. We can see any additional notes that they want and their payment of choice. So currently the user has selected PayPal, but obviously they haven't entered any PayPal details. So I could then go ahead and contact the user and obviously request more information. As you can see under the user's account on my settings, where it says under payments, here I can enter the details I wanted. Okay. And obviously as a, when I'm viewing the cash out options as the admin, the actual PayPal address would then, would then be visible. Now again, just like the cash back system, if I set this to be um, paid, so I do a complete. Okay, I click update. If I go to my cash out system, I can now see the options have changed. And if I view my account, okay, you can see the balance has been taken from the user's account. So now they're down $1,000 because it would have been paid via PayPal. So that's the basic concept of the cash out system. The user makes a request for the amount of money they have in their balance. It's then displayed in the admin for them to approve or decline. And then obviously all of the payment preferences, etc., are there as well. And then you would then arrange payment to be sent to the user. Okay, let's take a quick look at some of the settings that are available. So if we click on coupons, so we can see all of our website coupons and we edit one of the coupons. So we have the example we're using 50% off of Macy's. If we scroll down, we have two options. We have the option to set a fixed amount. So obviously the user can have a fixed amount of cash back or we have a percentage. Now there are obviously cash back options as well. So again, from the dashboard, if I show you, we click on premium press, we scroll down, we click on settings and we scroll down again and we click on user settings. Scrolling down, Okay, this is where you find all of the cash out system options. Now, obviously, currently we have PayPal, bank and in person, so you can turn these off or select the ones that are, um, you want. We have the option to enable users to actually pay for objects and pay for items on your website using the credit system. So, for example, if you're using a membership package option or listing packages, you can enable users to actually pay for those using credits, which is very useful. And we also have a cash out system, hide form, which allows the user just to visually see their amount of uh, money that they have, but they have no option to actually request the money to be drawn. So if you're not actually using the ability for users to be able to cash out of your website, so you want all the funds to always be on the website, you can turn this off uh, on here and obviously then users will not be able to take any money out of your website.